So Hopper predicts accurately flight prices in the future. So for any flight route in the world up to a year in advance to the day within five dollars, Hopper is able to tell you what the future price of the air ticket will be, allowing you to buy it at the right time. How Hopper basically you, sends you a push notification. How can you possibly know that? Because I'm guessing some of the airlines don't even know what their prices will be a year from now. We process a lot of data. So on average, uh, we will intake 300 billion flight prices a month. And with that amount of data and a bunch of machine learning, we're actually able to look at what's happening on the pricing algorithm level. It's, it, it requires um, a lot of depth in the data analytics, um, and it really hadn't been done before we released the app. It works fairly well in the sense that the average consumer saves $40 on the air ticket, which can add up. When did you start doing this? How long were you keeping records? Because I would think with something like oil prices going up that that would um, change things and your algorithm wouldn't be able to figure that out unless it was able to predict the price of oil a year from now. Our, our archive has uh, about five and a half years of historic data. And to be truthful, it really started working once we had three years of data accumulated. I think there's somewhere north of seven trillion historic prices in there, which allows us for the accuracy to work. And the way airline prices uh, function, they don't really take in market demand. We observe it, but the way that the airlines price their tickets has a lot to do with the capacity of the plane, what seats are filled up. So in a way, they're kind of replaying like a ticker tape what they've done in the previous years. And the seasonal adjustments for prices like oil can be calculated from the computer. Yeah, but we, we, you're talking about five years, and we haven't seen a super spike in oil prices. If you were to see oil come back at something like that, your algorithms wouldn't take that into account, wouldn't know about it, right? Well, yeah, actually, the, the way that oil prices factors in, it's a component of the airline pricing, but there's a lot of competition that factors in. For example, um, you're seeing a lot of low-cost carrier capacity uh, come online between the U.S. and Europe. You're also seeing the same thing happen towards Southeast Asia. So oil is not the only factor there. Right now, oil prices are around the 2010 levels, about 1.2% higher. And we're seeing for January, um, the average airfare is around 1.7% higher than last year, <clears throat> January remains the best time to buy the ticket. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, um, uh, what happens if it's wrong? Um, what if you say to, uh, to a consumer that it's going to be a $100 ticket and there's a hurricane that turns out to be a $200 ticket? What, what, is, what happens for the consumer? We were actually worried about that when we were building it. And what happens in reality, um, and we've had 45 million trips being planned on the app, in reality, people don't follow the forecast to the last minute. So the lowest possible forecasted price could be for one or two seats. And when you think of it, you're not buying a pair of shoes. You're traveling you know, across the country, around the world. You have other considerations, you know, like the hotel and the logistics. So what we're seeing is that people are mostly looking for something that's on their side, reassuring that's helping them make the decision. And the majority of people don't wait for the absolute lowest price. What they're looking to do is make sure they didn't overpay and they want to feel good about this purchase. We've had very, very low incidences of cases where people actually got misled by the algorithm. And people are smart. They also compare and they shop around. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.